Okay, here we go. This is gonna be part two of our silver, black, and red, and white geode. I'm changing things up a little bit this time. I didn't use the red nail polish. I am gonna add just some, um, this is just some perfect clear with some red glitter in it. Um, we also have the pewter, which actually turned out to be pretty transparent. It's just very shimmery, but it is, it's actually, it, it's curing more transparent like. So there's that pewter. This is gonna be the depth, the black, and I also added some black glitter to it this time, just to kind of give it a little bit more something, something. So this is the black with just a little added glitter to it. And we've got, this is gonna be our Lumiere. It's the pearlescent white. There's the pearlescent white. We've got our just silver glitter. That's just silver glitter with the clear. And then last but not least, we have, I didn't put the red nail polish in here this time because it acted funny last time. I just put a little bit of red paint in with the clear. So there we have that. And we can go ahead and get to starting our pour. Hi, Leo. We have cat visitors right now. Okay, so this is looking amazing. Let me get all my colors over here. And the first thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to do this red glitter all along this edge and along the middle, the outside and the middle edge. Because you'll be able to see through it, but it's just going to make these stones just really pop out along the edge, I think. And I didn't use that other glitter that I used on the first layer that was with the, that white or whatever, just because it was so thick. And I don't know why. So I'd rather not do that again this time. Okay, I won't have enough to go around maybe one more time with this. Okay, now I'm gonna use the pewter. That's the pewter. Yep, that's the pewter. It looks so similar to the black one, it's hard to tell, the one that's called depth, but this is different. And it is more, although it might go down a little opaque, it does end up clearing up a little bit so you can see through it. And then immediately after this, I'm gonna go through with a thick layer of the white. So we can work on some more of that marbling. I only mixed enough of the white just to go around one time because I know I didn't need a ton of it. Then I'm gonna go across that immediately with some of this black. Oh, and the glitter just looks amazing too. It's super hard to tell which one is the black and which one, this one has the glitter in it, okay. So now we'll go over this with the black really quick, just a thin line in the middle of that white, and then we'll manipulate it a little bit with one of the popsicle sticks to try and get some more of that marbled look going on. Okay, get an extra popsicle stick. It only works if you make the noise. I'm going to go up through with a red around here and then I'm going to use some of that silver glitter. Okay, that looks really good. Okay. Let's use some of the 
the silver glitter around the outs. Uh, no, first I'll do the red and then I'll do the silver glitter. It's a thin layer of the red though, nothing major. I just didn't want the red to be like too overpowering. One thing though too, that really thick glittery stuff that I used last time, although it was super, super thick, it did actually add a lot. There's some like red flakes of glitter and like bigger flakes, not small glitter pieces. They're like big flakes of glitter. That might've been why it was such a pain in the butt to use. Okay, so now just clear glitter around the middle, around the red. And then I need to torch it really quick just to get rid of some of these little air bubbles that I see and spread out some of this a little bit. Spread this out a little bit. Just really quick. Kind of Don't want to burn it. Okay, so there's that. Let's see here. I'm going to go through with that pewter again. See what we can do here. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to go with the pewter in the middle and on the outside. I need to cover some more of these rocks and get some more variation going on in the middle. Okay. And then the outside. Really quickly. Actually, I really like this pewter color. It's turning out beautiful. I'm going to go around one more time, I think, with that red glitter just in the middle. I don't have a ton of it left, but I have enough just to go around the middle. To kind of marry some of this stuff all together. Yeah, this red glitter was a good idea. It really did add a lot to it. I'm glad I changed it up a little bit for this layer. So that's enough, that's the end of that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through, I think, with the silver glitter, and then maybe once more with like the, the pewter. And then this layer is pretty much gonna be done. Just have to do a torch again and let it sit for a bit. Actually, I'm not gonna do the pewter. I'm gonna do some of this black. Just a little bit, a quick, quick thin line around this middle. Just to help push some of those colors out a little bit. And I might even go around with that red right in the middle. Thin little layer of the red. Thin little line. Perfect. I'm really liking how that's turning out. Okay. Last but not least, let's go around the edge, I guess, with the silver, because I got a little bit of it left. Torch it, and this layer can sit. Perfect. Okay, so there's that. I do still have some of the other colors left, but I don't want to overwork this layer here. Torch, 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 torch. Okay. So there it is. There's that layer. It looks really awesome. Okay, I'm gonna take this down so you guys can see real quick. Don't mind my hand. So here's what we're working with now. It's really looking beautiful. I'm happy with how it's turning out. What you think?